You done? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's making me go too. Hello, everybody. Ryan, say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right, I'm doing a quick uh, live, but now my selfie stick is not working. So give me a second, everybody. How are you guys doing? Happy Tuesday to you. Okay, this is going to be a little wonky. Sorry. That's just the way it's going to be. All right, so I went to Sprouts today. How many of you guys have a Sprouts near you? So, um, hey, Ryan, would you do me a favor and turn on these lights? So, oh, good answer. Good answer. Okay, so do you guys have a Sprouts Market near you? I did one on Trader Joe's a couple weeks ago and a lot of people asked me questions, so I thought I would hop on here. So those of you that don't know me, my name is Blair Critch, in case somebody shares this with you. And um, I am vegan, but I'm also, I use um, the philosophy of starch solution, or uh, if you wanna find some other people that do this, you can find Healthy Emmy on YouTube. She calls it Slim on Starch. It's basically eating vegan, but you use your plate every day is half and half. So half like green leafy vegetables or just like, you know, really healthy vegetables. And the other half can be starch and some legumes. So that's kind of how I eat every day. No oil. Hi, Melissa. It's one of my sorority sisters. Um, and so that is just how I eat now. And it's really, for me, been amazing because... It has allowed my, I feel like my skin looks better. I feel like my body is starting to like really respond to it. I have felt better. So after I had cancer a year and a half ago, my stomach, like digestive system, energy, all those things, I felt better when I went vegan. But for me, it's even helping, I feel like, with um, staying cancer free and keeping myself healthy and strong. So I'm going to show you some of the things I found today at um, Sprouts. And Jeremiah, you're seeing just right there. Jeremiah, say hi. Uh, no, people can't see you. Oh. Uh, ha! There's your mind. Okay, people love to see you. All right. So the first thing I got was Kavita. If you guys have never tried Kavita, it's kind of like kombucha, but I like it better. They use apple cider vinegar. It has um, basically what it's for is for your gut. It just helps because it's cultured. It's non-dairy, gluten-free, caffeine-free, fermented. I don't drink a full one because it has a lot of sugar. I drink probably a quarter of it. I pour it in a champagne glass or a wine glass, and I, I drink it when I'm in the bathtub. So for me, it's like a little mocktail or something. Um, I'll show you guys some of my other favorite things I just found there. So this is a brown rice veggie sushi. So today, I have an appointment. I'm gonna be out and about running around, and this is how I save myself from going to grab something that it is not compliant with how I'm eating, right? Um, and so for me, this is just something simple and easy. I can put into a little cooler in my car, leave it in there, pop them in my mouth when I get hungry throughout the day. It's just veggies, brown rice, and seaweed. That's it. So nothing else, right? I also like to eat that fresh ginger that's on the side. It's so yummy. Do you guys like ginger? You have to tell me if you're into that too. Uh, I also got from there some interesting things today. So I'm going to do a live next week. I'm going to be gone all week at a um, conference. And so I'm going to share with you guys a couple things that I buy when I'm going to be traveling. So I'll do a video on that next week. It's kind of why I got some of these um, oatmeals that are nothing but fruit and oatmeal uh, to take with me on my trip as well. Pico de Gallo, I hate making it, so I love it when I can find it at a store. Fresh, yummy, no oil added. That's really important for me because I don't eat oil. Um, I'm gonna try out this. This is something new for me. Sometimes I want something a little bit more snacky. So I thought I would try this French onion dip. It's made with almond milk and there's no oil in it at all. And it has acidophilus, which if you guys know anything about gut health, that's really good because it's a probiotic. Um, also, again, I don't do oil. So Cedars is really hard to find. I'm seeming to only be able to find it at Trader Joe's, has one, and um, Sprouts so far. But it's fat-free, oil-free. I don't really care so much about the fat-free part. It's about not having oil. So I'm not using oil in my diet. Um, and so for me, I absolutely love this hummus because sometimes I will make salad dressings out of it. So since I don't use oil, a lot of times people ask how I make salad dressings. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a uh, Facebook Live about like my top three favorite dressings and how I make them, um, some of them with hummus. Um, I also, obviously, I love it when they do the trios. Uh, a lot of stores do that. Uh, how do I cook vegetables without oil? I use vegetable broth. So I just use a very, you know, like a frying pan, put a little bit of vegetable broth in it. I love liquid amino acids by Bragg's. It gives it like a little teriyaki taste. 
um, or soy sauce tasting. So I put the liquid amino acids into, and I, I have the coconut liquid amino acids and just the regular. And I'll pour a little bit into the frying pan, put my vegetables in there, and that's how I cook them. It's also how I make my chickpeas like a little bit crispy if I'm putting them in a recipe and I want them to be crispy. Yellow squash, great time of year to be eating yellow squash and zucchini. I'm not a huge zucchini fan, but I love summer squash. Um, spaghetti squash. I'm going to be making a spaghetti squash casserole this week, uh, probably tomorrow night. So if you are Thursday night, because tomorrow night's girls' night, so I'm not going to be making it tomorrow night. I'll probably make it Thursday night. Um, so if you've never uh, made anything with spaghetti squash before, I love chopping it in half, scooping out the seeds, and then um, I used to put oil on it, but now I don't use oil. So I spray it with water, put some seasoning on it, and then I flip it upside down so that the hard skin is on top on parchment paper on a um, baking sheet in the oven for about 40 minutes and then I scoop it all out and I make a really amazing spaghetti squash casserole that Ryan and some of our friends all love and it's completely vegan and it's absolutely delicious. So that's what this is. This is not spaghetti squash. This is, Jeremiah, we're going to try this out this week. It's canary melon. Somebody told me it's absolutely delicious in the summer. It's like a mix between honeydew and cantaloupe. So we're going to try it out. I'll cut this up today and put it in the fridge. Um, this is what I'm really excited about. Some of the stuff that I found in the frozen section, okay? So these are literally french fries with the only ingredient being potatoes. There's no oil, nothing else. Like literally, when you go to find, there's the ingredients. It's like so limited. Here we go. Ingredients. Organic rusted potato. That's it. So I can make this because, again, my meals are half the plate is veggies, half the plate's is um, carbs with, you know, healthy carbs with some legumes. So like this for me is so easy. I made black bean quinoa uh, sweet potato burgers this week. So I'll be eating this with that. Um, here's one of my absolute favorite things. Again, I cannot find this at like a local grocery store. It always has to be like a Whole Foods, Sprouts, Trader Joe's. It's the golden yellow cauliflower. For some reason, I love this stuff. So, okay, yeah, Lori, I'll go live. Um, or make a reel out of my spaghetti squash recipe because I've never actually written it down. I just kind of make it. I had one once at True Food. If you guys have a True Food kitchen near you, oh my gosh, they're so delicious. We have one in Boca Raton, which is about 30 minutes from here. And uh, they make a spaghetti squash casserole that I just kind of recreated. So this cauliflower is my absolute favorite. The purple and the yellow orange one are my absolute favorite. So I'll just chop these up um, and I'll either steam them or sometimes I cut them into like steaks and I'll put them in uh, the oven. And again, I spray them with a little bit of water um, or vegetable broth if I have one already open and then season them. Delicious. Um, shredded carrots. I always love to have this on hand. Uh, shredded cabbage because I'll just add it to my meal. I love those. Um, again, also remember I told you guys I'm making, I made sweet potato, black bean and quinoa burgers this week. Well, my boys won't eat that. They want regular burgers. So I got two different kinds of mushrooms, Bella and regular white mushrooms. And I make mushrooms and onions to put on top of their burgers and on top of my sweet potato burgers. Love it. Funny face Jay's making. Okay, this is something I was super excited to find at Sprouts. It is a low carb, which anytime I buy um, tortilla wraps, I always buy low carb, but I've never seen whole wheat low carb before. They're usually flour. So I was super excited about this because it's way better for you. And I actually didn't look to see if it had any oil because I was really buying it for the boys. Um, it does have a little bit of oil. So I won't be eating this, but I'm just glad I found this in case you guys do uh, eat oil. I'm so excited to find a low carb whole wheat wrap. You can get this one at Sprouts. Edamame, I always get it in the frozen section, but I leave it in the fridge and let it thaw out and I put it on top of salads or stir fry. Great source of protein. I know people are always scared of soy, but the reality is if it's non-GMO gluten or just non-GMO, um, then there's nothing wrong with it, okay? Because it's just the soybean and the soybean can actually be really helpful for preventing cancer. I think it's gotten a bad rap for a long time. Okay, again, told you guys I love cauli cauliflower, but I love, uh, because every meal I do half a plate of vegetables, so cauliflower tends to be one that I do a lot. This one I love whenever they have a trio mix of the colored cauliflower, because again, it's different things. The microbiomes in your stomach, you need to eat the rainbow. You gotta have lots of different things, that helps. So I love this, it has orange and purple and even green and white cauliflower in it. Great one to throw into your freezer and when you need a quick vegetable, you just steam it up. Um, of course, I got some frozen fruit as well. So one of the things I'm trying to do is stop my munchies at night. How many of you guys munch at night? 
I love TV, I'm not gonna lie. When I'm done with work, Ryan and I play in a book. So I'm trying to start making myself when I feel like I want a little snack is trying to eat some frozen fruit that are absolutely delicious. Also, if you've been watching my reels, you know I've been making lots of mocktails in the afternoon. So like sparkling water and my collagen um, powder that I love called Pink Pro that kind of tastes like strawberry lemonade. And then I'll add different fruits each time and mix it up a little bit. And so that's something I use for that too. So excited about this because sometimes I have meals for everybody else, but I'm just